Hello Virgo, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Virgo, in this reading, we'll see what is your energy, what is the energy of the person you're thinking about, you're dealing with and what is the mutual energy between you and this person. Remember, this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Okay, I would also appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the videos. Virgo, before I proceed to lay down the cards, I would just like to inform you, readings for Valentine have been uploaded uh, on Vimeo. The link for the same is in the description box and the comment section. Probably one of the best readings that I have uh, done so far. The energies were fabulous, absolutely fabulous. I felt absolutely energetic and enthusiastic while doing this reading. In this reading, I have, I have seen what is your energy around Valentine's, energy of your person around Valentine's, okay. Uh, then I have also, so we have, I have pulled out some romantic messages and at the fag end, I have asked you guys to ask one question to yourself and I have answered that in yes or no, okay. So it is, it is intense, it is fun filled, it is exciting reading. So if you are interested, link is in description box and the comment section. Okay, so let's get started now. Let's get started. We have seven of swords for you. Then we have sun. We have two of cups. We have devil. We have hierophant. We have nine of wands. Mutual energy is two of pentacles and the fool you may be dealing with taurus you may be dealing with capricorn taurus virgo capricorn aries leo okay if the sign pops up all the better let's not remain fixed on the signs as far as your spread is concerned we have two of cups we have sun and seven of swords okay virgo Virgo, what I see is like you are manifesting someone in your life. Okay, you're manifesting someone from a long term perspective in your life. So you are manifesting a soulmate or a twin flame. You're manifesting your partner. You don't have time and you are not interested in short term situations. Okay, and with the sun card next to two of cups, what I see is like there is a wish fulfillment that is happening. Okay, you are going to become so happy, you're going to feel so happy that something that you wanted is about to fulfill or it has fulfilled. Okay, so there is a sense of relief, there is a sense of satisfaction, there is a sense of happiness, ecstasy. Okay, that what you wanted, okay, what exactly you wanted, who exactly you wanted, okay, that person is entering in your life or that situation is happening in your life so there is this extreme happiness about wish fulfillment okay a love a new chapter in your love life is about to begin and what i see is like this love is is very satisfying okay there is a lot of equal give and take there is a lot of uh, love care passion that is involved in the situation and maybe maybe uh, virgo look Yes, you have manifested this person, but at the same time, this person was fated to enter in your life in this lifetime. Okay, it is, it is, of course, it's a fated connection only. Maybe for some of you, you have preponed this connection. Like this, probably this person wasn't about to enter in your life later on, but you are, you are coming across as someone, uh, Virgo, your energy is also represented, you know, in, in the tarot cards. Magician represents Gemini and Virgo. Okay, so what I see over here is like You know, you know, you can manifest what you want. Okay, and Whenever you want it will it will always be a right time for you You have been given those powers to manifest your dreams your wish fulfillments into a uh, into a reality your wishes into a reality 
okay so don't worry about it even if this person arrives in your life beforehand or later on whenever you manifest this person whenever you manifest them it will be a right time for you okay so this person they were fated to enter in your life in this lifetime when you can when uh, when this person enters in your life it is it is totally up to you okay so it is a combination of fate and it's a combination of your manifestations as well but what i see is like a, a solid love situation is about to begin in your life very soon okay uh seven of swords seven of swords next to sun card and next to two of cups virgo do you have any anyone around you who probably wanted to have whatever you had in your life whatever you were getting they also wanted that whatever you, whoever you, uh, you manifested in your life they also wanted that there are these kind of people right like what you are getting they want to snatch that away from you okay the, like there are some friends maybe in some cases siblings okay so i i see an energy in and around you like there is a presence of energy who wants to have everything what you are having okay if if you are having a uh, what shall i say if you are having an a, a life partner they will make efforts to snatch away that person from you like if you are having if you buy a home for yourself okay they they will be like uh, i also want a home for myself they will also start manifesting the home or they will do something to like you know i see some sort of stealing over here okay so this person you already have some experience about this person in in your life or probably if not experience you doubt their intentions if you doubt their intentions then you are absolutely right let me tell you that so there is someone who is eyeing whatever you have whatever you own so if you have a new girlfriend or a boyfriend in your life this person is going to eye your girlfriend or a boyfriend they won't be successful they won't be successful because this is a protected connection let me tell you that this is a highly highly protected connection okay and you are someone who doesn't give away to other people what is yours okay you are also very extra cautious so they won't be successful in their attempts but i'm sensing that there is this energy who wants to have everything that you have it can be a sibling it can be a friend it can be a work colleague okay so just be careful from such kind of people uh and this person is someone who is not who doesn't limited to a specific domain like say for example if this person this person in seven of swords okay if if they are a work colleague but somehow they get to know that you are dating someone they will make efforts to cross their limits of you know restrictions of work colleague and they will try to interfere in your personal life also so you have be careful from such kind of energies okay the devil hierophant and and we have is nine of wands maybe virgo you have experienced in the past that sometimes you end up attracting unnecessary competition like people feel triggered around you it's not your fault it's not your fault you have that kind of energy where people they want to have good things in their life or people they want to experience success they want to achieve what you what uh, what you have also achieved but then they don't rather than considering you as an inspiration some people just get into this manipulation stealing thing or stealing people from you whereas there are certain there is a certain section of people there are certain sections where they feel inspired by you they they feel like yes if virgo is an inspiration what virgo has achieved i want to achieve that also let me start working hard towards my dreams and my goals okay so few people feel inspired few people they feel triggered okay so you end up attracting a lot of people with mixed energies 
devil hierophant and nine of wands okay in your person's energy someone wants to offer commitment but someone is fearful someone thinks like look with that hierophant this person thinks that you are their future wife or their husband but there is a bit of a fear around what they are thinking they are not coming across as confident enough okay with the nine of wands the intentions are very good intentions are very sincere okay intentions are very honest but there is a lack of courage again with the devil card someone from the past is obsessing over you someone from the past they also want to marry you wow we have hierophant in center and we have devil and nine of wands next to hierophant we also have two of cups so there are people who are interested in you okay but there are many people rather i'll say there are many people who are interested in you okay so few of them lack courage and someone from the past is obsessing okay but when it comes to this past person i'm sensing there is a lack of plan i mean they are obsessing over you but i'm not sensing toxicity surprisingly with the devil card i'm not sensing toxicity over here how what kind of approach they should take towards you which will be a right approach they they are lacking that clarity in thinking okay so two of pentacles and we have fool as a mutual energy uh it's time if if at all you are feeling bit confused in your life it's time for you to seek help for to clear that confusion because this confusion is creating stagnancy for no reasons okay uh money is looking good for you guys you are working really hard your hard work will be paid off i also see some travel is about to happen okay all right i hope this resonates and hit like share and subscribe and if you are interested in the valentines reading link is in the description box and the comment section okay i would highly recommend you guys to go ahead and see that reading uh it is it is one of the wonderful readings that i have done wonderful energies i have sensed during the entire reading okay all right bye bye then